Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me on this last video of Knitting with Matt. This is our fifth video of our five week series. This class is brought to you by the Department of Cultural Affairs of Los Angeles, here located at the Lincoln Heights Arts Youth Center. Now, let's go ahead and get started. For today, you're going to need one ball of yarn. We are using Hugh and Me, which is a chunky wool blend of two of wands. It's part of the Lions brand yarn. We are also going to be using a size US 10 inch needle. For this class, you're also going to need a separate double pointed needle. I'm using a size eight. You could use what they also call a cable stitch needle. Those work as well. They just have a funny little loop on it just to help keep the yarn together. But a DPN or other known as a double pointed needle will work just fine. So just make sure to have a spare needle for that. And then you will also need a pair of scissors and of course your trusty sewing needle. All right, let's go ahead and get started for today's class. If you have any questions regarding from the previous uh, types of techniques that you will need, make sure to go back to all the previous videos because they definitely will help you out with that. Okay, for today's class, we're gonna go ahead and just make a swatch. You're going to want to cast on about 10 to 15 stitches. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the 10. So here we go, one. I went ahead and I decided to cast on 20 stitches just to, so that way we can actually see the pattern a little better on this video. Just a reminder that this is only supposed to teach you how to do an actual easy cable stitching. This is just to get your feet wet when in regards to doing cables because there are many types of cables and many different ways that you can do them. Um, but for these, we're only gonna do a simple cable stitch and it's actually fairly easy. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is associate which stitches we're gonna actually do cable stitches on. So I did 20 stitches and of course me being the person that wants everything to be even, I tend to do this. So I go knit, knit, purl, purl, knit, knit, and that's gonna leave us now with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches in the middle, which is exactly what we need. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, two by two rib stitch on the outer part and leave the inside part all knit stitches because that's going to end up being our actual cable. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just start doing this pattern. You can do the same pattern with me or you could do something different. Just make sure that you do have the two or excuse me, the eight stitches in the middle because you're going to end up separating those into two fours. So here we go. So I did two knits. And then I'm actually going to do four purl instead. Two, three, and four. And then I'm going to yarn over and now knit eight stitches. One. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure to do a yarn over. Now you're gonna do two purls. Two, yarn over, knit 
to. Oh, wait a second. Whoopsie. I made a mistake. We're gonna go back, take this one stitch out, and redo that. Because I was gonna do the pattern wrong. So now we need four pearls. I'm so sorry. Three and four. And then now you're just gonna knit these last two stitches. Now, remember, when you're doing a pattern like this, you're gonna wanna remember which ones you're knitting and which ones you're purling. We have talked and discussed before of how to properly tell the differences between the two. So if you need any help with that, make sure to go to the previous video, video because I did actually talk about it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue going on with this. Now we're gonna do our second row, but remember, you need to knit your knits and purl your purls. Knit your knits and purl your purls. So now that you flipped it over, the start, the starting point that you started at is now on a purl side. So you're gonna to wanna to purl those first instead of knitting those first. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And you're going to want to do this pattern for about four rows. So I will see you at that point. All right, here we go. Okay, so now as you could see, we are officially on row five now. This is when you're gonna wanna do your very first cable stitch. I just wanna go ahead and talk very fast about the pattern now that we can see it. You have the two knitted, the four pearls, the eight knitted, four pearls, two knitted. So you could finally start seeing the pattern that we're gonna end up doing. So you are still going to knit the knits, purl the pearls, knit the knits, purl the pearls. The only difference now is we're adding one more step. You're going to need this trusty extra needle on hand to do this next part. It's gonna be pretty simple. I promise you it, it might seem scary at first, but it really isn't. It's very, very easy. You'll notice that you're gonna end up doing it in second nature once you've learned the pattern. Um, you could use these. These are great patterns to use for scarves, for beanies and for sweaters. I use them a lot for sweaters. Uh, it adds just that, that nice little elegance um, to your pieces and I hope that you end up experimenting a little bit more with them. So we're gonna learn how to do a simple single cable stitch, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and knit these two knits, purl the next four because that's what our pattern is um, requiring us to do. So here comes two, three, and four. Now at this point is when you're gonna need that extra needle. You have eight stitches, right? Eight knit stitches here. You're gonna want to even them out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull four of these stitches off onto this needle and we're gonna hold it in the back of our work. And how that looks is like this. So I'm just gonna slide this needle in, slide it in. You're not doing anything to these stitches. You're just gonna put them on this needle, okay? So I have four stitches on this needle. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold these to the back of the work. See that? How the needle sits in the back? We're gonna go ahead and do that. And now we're gonna just Forget about those four for just a second, and we're gonna go ahead and knit the next four. Okay, you're gonna knit the next four like usual. So here comes the first knit, and I'm gonna pull this string in to make sure that that hole stays nice and closed. Okay, so that was one. Here comes two. And if you notice, I'm only knitting to this needle. I'm not using that back one just yet. Just ignore it for now. Here comes the third knit stitch. And now here comes the fourth one. 
Now here's the fun part. This is how easy it is to do a single cable stitch, okay? Now you're gonna pretend like this needle on your left doesn't even exist. You're gonna go ahead and readjust that back needle and hold it in your hand as if it's your actual working needle like normal. That other one will now just kind of sit in the back while you work this needle through. Best thing for you to do is don't lose your stitches. Try to stay as close to those stitches as much as possible. Stay as close to the needles as close as possible. Go ahead and knit that first stitch like normal. Knit that next stitch just like normal. And you're gonna keep doing that until there's no more stitches left on the needle. There should be four. Now I have two because I'm knitting them through. And now here comes the last one. And now that back needle that you were using originally is now free. You can go ahead and put that down and wait for you to have to use that again. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna purl. You're gonna wanna yarn over before you purl. Go ahead and purl those next four stitches. So here we go. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here is four. Now you're gonna yarn over and then do those last two stitches like normal. So knit one, knit two. Congratulations, you have done your very first cable sequence. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but once we start knitting up a little bit more, you'll get to see how that cable stitch looks a little better. It's the beginning, so normally the beginning points are always a little bit on the stiffer side. I do want to make it known that as you do try to knit with those and do that crossover, those needles are gonna get very tight. That's normal, just try not to, don't try to tug and pull that string too, too much to cause too much uh, tension. You wanna try to keep it as loose as possible. So now we're gonna flip that needle over. I'm gonna pick back up this needle, leave that needle, uh, that extra spare needle that you're using for your cables, leave that to a side. And now you're gonna knit again for more rows. So the pattern is pretty simple if you've noticed. It's a, what, two by four? Yes, a two by four rib stitch on the outside. And then your cables happen every fifth row. So now this would be row one again. So I'm, I'm working on row one now. And then we're gonna just need to do three more of those and then we could do the cable crossover again. And that's how it's always gonna work, everybody. You're gonna do about four to five rows of just doing the knitting the knits and purling the pearls. And on the fifth row is when you're gonna end up putting the cable stitch in, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and knit my knits, purl my pearls all the way to the end here. And that's all you're doing. You're still keeping with the pattern. You're The only thing that you're changing is on the fifth row on the fifth row you will add on the cable stitching but if you're not doing the fifth row all you're doing is you're knitting the knits and purling the pearls it's real real easy a lot of people get a little nervous when it comes to cable stitches because you're adding an extra needle and i understand that but once you get again remember i always say it it's about comfortability once you get to that level of comfortability being able to do this it's gonna be a breeze in the park, I promise you. So I'm gonna show just me doing this last row. Oops, there we go, one more. Yarn over, purl those last two stitches. And there you go. That is a completed row with a cable stitch in the middle. So as we continue moving on, I'm going to do four more rows so that way I could do another cable stitching with you all and then we should be able to do one more after that and that would be the completion of our swatch. So let's go ahead and knit the knits and purl the pearls for the next few rows. I will see you at the fifth row, the fifth row for uh, the cable stitch. All right, here we go. So 
we have officially gotten to the next point of where we need to do our cable again. Now that we've gotten through it a little bit, you could see it a little bit better. It's going to end up now twisting again on this next row since we have our trusty needle ready to go. All right, here we go. So what you're going to want to do, just as a reminder, you're going to knit your knits, pur purl your purls until you get to those center eight stitches, which are knit stitches. So here we go. I did the first two knit, next four purl. Over, grab your trusty needle, spare needle. You're gonna now slip those four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now that they're nicely safe onto that needle in the middle, go ahead and move that to the back. Great. And now go ahead and knit the next four, just like normal, nothing fancy. Remember, it's going to get a little tight, which is fine. You do want to create that little bit of tension, but you don't want it to be too tight. So it has to be a happy medium. So we are now on the last fourth stitch. Great. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drop that left needle, pick up the one in the back, and go ahead and just knit on along like normal, like nothing ever even happened. And remember, it's going to get a little tight, which is normal. Okay, just make sure you find your comfortability and you should be fine. Okay, knit three. There we go. And now the last one. And knit four. And there you have it. Drop that other needle. Go ahead and pick a uh, yarn over. Go ahead and now purl those after you purl those four you're going to want to do another yarn over and that yarn over will be for the last two knit stitches like so yarn over knit one and knit two all right and we're going to do this sequence one last time but now you can actually fully see that cable stitching being made look at that awesome Okay, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to do one more row and then you're going to add that one last cable stitching and we will be done with our swatch. Now, mind you, these cable stitches are fairly close to each other. You could technically do another couple rows if you wanted to. So if you wanted this particular chain to be a little more open, you can do that. But for the exercise, we're only going to do it about uh, five rows apart. If you feel like you want your cables to be a lot bigger and a lot wider, all you have to do is add more stitches across and make sure to um, knit more rows in between each cable if you want that cable to be a little longer. That's all. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and knit my knits and purl my pearls and I will see you at the next time that we do and our last time doing that cable stitch. All right, here we go. So we've officially gotten to the very last cable stitch here. Um, you technically could just close it off like this if you really wanted to. If you want the pattern to continue all the way to the very end, then you do want to do it on this last one. Knit 
one, uh, knit slash purl one last row after that and your basic, that's it. That, that would be everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and teach you one last time how to do this cable stitching. Remember this is only one single cable, an easy single cable stitch. Uh, there are many other ones out there, but the only one that I'm showing you today is just a single. So I'm gonna knit my knits and purl my pearls until I get to the center on those last eight, on those center eight stitches. So here we go. I don't know. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I went on autopilot, everybody. I'm so sorry. Let me um, reverse. Okay, so now that we have gotten to those... Okay, hold on. Okay, so we've officially gotten to those uh, next eight stitches. I'm going to go ahead and pull the first four off. So two, three, and four. You're gonna slide that needle to the back, knit the next four stitches. So here's one. Remember that first one needs to make sure it's nice and snug. Go ahead and now do the next stitch and you're just gonna knit those four stitches. So now I'm on three and, and last but not least four. Okay, go ahead and drop this needle. Go ahead and let that one go. Pick up the one in the back, slide that needle through, just to make it easier to work. And now go ahead and knit the next four stitches like normal. Remember that these are gonna be a lot tighter than the other ones just because you did have them in the back. It does create a little bit of an extra tension, so just make sure you are doing your best. Of trying to work those in without making them too tight. Once you've gotten those four stitches off the needle, that's it, you won't need that needle anymore. Now that this is gonna be our last one, gonna yarn over, gonna purl the pearls and knit the knits. Just continuing on. Okay, so now the next row is actually going to be your cast off row. and done. So that's official. You've done your first entirety of your cable stitching. Congratulations. So I'm going to go ahead and knit the knits and purl the pearls on one last row and then do a cast off. This is just so that way your stitches look even and that um, you want to keep in mind that you don't want to end a uh, on a crossover row which in other words to make a cable you don't want to be on the fifth row when you're doing a cast off because then it's going to look a little wonky you want to make sure to give yourself a little bit of a, of a buffer on the end just so that way it looks nice and clean so now that we have officially done that crossover row we're going to go ahead and just knit the knits purl the pearls all the way to the very end and then on the next row you're going to do your cast off yeah, that easy. Once you get the hang of doing cable stitches, it'll be super second nature and you can do a lot fun, a lot crazier and a lot more uh, fun patterns compared to just doing the single cable stitch. This is just to get your feet wet a little bit. There are a lot more intricate ones out there and I promise you, you will find something that you're going to end up wanting to knit because I always end up finding fun cables. My favorite things to do cabling wise, and I'll put it in the video right now so you can see a photo of it at least, is what we call Celtic hearts. They're Celtic hearts. Um, the specific Celt Celtic cabling is not easy. They require multiple needles and is a lot of fun once you get the hang of it, but it is also a lot of work because you have to be on top of knowing what is what on what pattern and on what row. So those are for expert levels, so don't worry too much about that now. Just worried about your one single cable stitching. I promise you, you'll start to learn more. See, now you can fully see the cable now. 
This is a beautiful little cable stitching that I always love to do. It's very simple. It, like I said, when you add it into sweaters, sometimes I'll add it into the arms uh, in my sweaters when I knit them. And it just adds this nice little elegance to it. Um, I highly recommend you uh, adding in cable stitches for your scarves as well. Those are also great centerpieces for them. Uh, I've used them even for cowls and for headbands especially. It's a lot of fun to use them for. All right, so now that we've already done this, all we're gonna go ahead and do is do a cast off. Just a normal cast off. And the cast offs don't feel different uh, once you add in that extra buffer of a row. Um, if you do do it on a cable, like I said earlier, if you do do it on a cable stitch, it will be very difficult to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my way through this to get it off the needle. And then we'll be done. That'll be it. Oh, see, don't don't do what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. All right. So yarn that over. There we go. And just remember to always knit your knits and purl your purls. So if it's on a purl stitch, still purl like normal, because you're gonna want that to be even with your pattern. It's going to help make the flow of your cable stitching look even and won't tend to pucker, which is what tends to happen when you do cable stitches. So just be very aware of that. Okay, purling. And I always have to yarn over whenever I do a um, cast off. I don't know why. It's just, I think, a comfortability thing again. All about comfortability. Oh. Remember, you're going to knit your knits and purl your purls. Going over the cabling here, it's a little tighter than usual, but that's okay. That's normal. You don't want it to be too, too tight, though. If it's too, too tight, you probably accidentally pulled your tension a little too hard, so just keep that in mind. And remember, you want as consistent you want to be as consistent as possible, just so that way your work looks nice and even, and you don't have to worry about it looking all wonky. All right, still going over this cable stitching right now. Almost done with that part. Need a couple more stitches, and then I'm gonna keep purling my purls and knitting my knits. And once I do that with my cast off it will be perfect no not perfect but it'll be ready to go all right yarn over knit your knits purl your pearls and remember i do this extra yarn over just to make it so that way it's easier for me to um do my normal spiel boom it's an extra unnecessary step. It's just for me, honestly, it's about, again, that comfortability. All about the comfortability. All right, and I'm coming to these last two stitches here. Very close. And once I get that off the needle, then I'll show you how to do a weave in on cable stitches. It's honestly the exact same thing as normal. There's nothing that's special or different. <laughs> But sometimes you will need to know how to do certain things, so. All right, so now that you've already officially cast off, you only have one needle, or excuse me, one stitch left. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the string. Make sure to then hold that down, pull that string on through, and that's it. You have created your first very own cable stitching swatch. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, so now what we're just gonna need to do is weave in all these ends and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this process with you as a nice little refresher and a reminder of how to do it. If I can get my needle out, there we go. Okay. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and thread that on through the needle hole. Go ahead and, and since this is uh, a knit edging, I'm going to actually go ahead and weave it into this end because it's going to be easier to hide. Especially on knit stitches, it's way easier to hide these babies. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and do our trusty little motion here. And I'm gonna then just press it towards the back so that way I can hide the stitch closer to the back. And you can actually see, remember the last video we did talk about, here I'm gonna cut the string close to the edge here without actually ruining the work. Ooh, there we go. Now, real quick, I do want to just show you, this would be considered the right side. Remember, we talked about right side and wrong side. This would be the right side. This would be the wrong side because, as you could tell, you can't really see the pretty cabling at all. So this would be considered the wrong side. You're going to want to flip it over to the right side. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and weave in this very last end. Make sure to thread that on through your needle hole. Go ahead and again, you're gonna wanna go ahead and just do what we normally do. And go ahead and weave in this end on the very edge, because the edging's probably the best for uh, when you're doing cabling. You don't wanna ever try to put it within the actual cable. Sometimes you might have to actually put it in here, um, but it's very rare, so I'm not gonna go over that at least not for this particular video, I think we, you all should be fine. <laughs> so now that we've woven that in, we're gonna go ahead and cut this little extra tail there, and there you have it, your very first cable stitch swatch. <laughs> Great job. Alrighty everyone, thank you so much again for joining me for Knitting with Matt. This was our very final video of our five week course. I had a great time doing this series with you all. I will probably be continuing it again. So keep a lookout for more videos and I will see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>